Hey guys, um, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today, um, you can see something different about me. Let's just say all the videos that have been going up recently on my channel have been pre-filmed um, because I had a little something uh, going on that I couldn't exactly film for a little bit. So, um, I'm finally back, updated today, and I'm doing a little Q&A video on my most asked question. Um, was about, of course, my neck brace and why I have it, which is going to be something that I'm going to be talking about at the end of this video. So make sure you watch all the way to the end to find out um, what happened to me, because it's uh, pretty crazy and I still can't believe that it happened. And I don't know, I've been waiting to share this with you guys for quite a bit of time. Um, so I haven't been super active on all of my accounts and things, but now I'm finally free to talk about it and feeling um, a little bit better about everything that has happened with me lately. So um, yeah, I'm excited to answer some questions that you guys want to know. Um, like always, I won't be able to get to all of them because there's always just so many of you guys rock for asking so many questions and wanting to know so many things about me. You're super nice, uh, but I'll be able to answer a couple today and then talk about this lovely accessory and why I have to wear it from now on. <sighs> All right, let's get into this video. Um, before I start, make sure that you're subscribed down below to my channel. All right, so one of the questions were, um, if you didn't do YouTube as a job, what else would you want to do? Um, I like this question. Obviously, I love having YouTube as a job. It's been so fun to just film and do what I love um, and also to be able to work with my family has been super amazing. So YouTube is like a huge, huge blessing. Thank you guys so much for watching me and my family. Seriously, you guys will never know how much it means to me. But if I had to choose something um, other than YouTube, I've always thought it'd be really fun to be like a wedding planner or I really like photography um, and taking pictures. So maybe photography, probably one of those two things. Okay, every time I do a Q&A, I get lots and lots of boyfriend questions. Um, so this one is, how long have you and your boyfriend been dating? Um, we have been dating for five years in October, so quite a bit of time. Um, but yeah, another boyfriend question. From a scale to one through one with lots of zeros, um, how excited are you to meet your boyfriend? I'm so excited. The days just keep getting closer and closer and I just, I can't wait. I'm really, really excited to finally be reunited after two years. So the most zeros that you can put um, on a number, that's how excited I am to see him. Does that make sense? Yes, no, I'm just really excited to see him. And I wanna know if you guys want to meet my boyfriend when he gets home. So comment down below if you wanna meet him and we'll see if he'll be in a video. I'm sorry, but why did you not film with the Nen fam on the family channel for a couple of videos? So if you watch my family channel, Not Enough Nelsons, you would notice that I haven't been in the videos for quite a bit of time. Um, for the Toy Story video, we actually pre-filmed um, that before I had this neck brace situation going on. Um, and also, like I said earlier, all of the videos that I put up the last couple of weeks have been pre-filmed. So I haven't filmed for a long time because I had um, this situation that I'm going to talk about in a minute. Um, but yeah, that's why I wasn't on the Nen fam for so long because they were filming videos while I was going um, through things with my neck and stuff. So. That is why I wasn't on the Nen fam, but I'm back now, hopefully. I also got quite a bit of questions about my hair. Um, do you treat your hair with something special? It's flawless. Thank you, that's really, really nice. Um, so my hair has grown a ton over the last year. Um, and honestly, uh, here's some of the tricks that I have. If you want me to do a full video on how to grow your hair longer and tips and tricks on that, tell me in the comments below as well. Um, but I would just give you two tips. Don't put heat on it. Seriously, try to not put heat on it um, and try to not wash it every day. Honestly, the longer you go without washing it, the more it kind of grows, which is kind of gross, but it's the truth. Those are a couple of tips that I have, but I have so many more. Um, so again, comment down below if you want to see a video about how to grow your hair longer. Is it hard to keep your house clean? 
Yes, it's so hard. You feel like you clean it, um, and then you turn around and it's like a bomb went off. I don't know, the kids, kids are good at wrecking the house, so yes. Got this question multiple times. When is your boyfriend coming home? I have the app on my phone, of course. I'm counting down the days, let's be honest. I'm so excited. He gets home in 18 days from today. So like really, really, really soon, I'll finally see him after two years. I think I'm getting like a little too giddy because it's like coming so soon and it's been so long since I've seen him. I'm like kind of just really excited. I can't believe it's actually happening where I get to see him again after two years. So yeah, 18 days from the day I posted this video. So super soon. Do you like your YouTube channel? Yes, I love it so much. Like I said before, it's been one of the best blessings of my life being able to do something that I love and be able to do it as a full-time job and make money from it. So it's just like a dream. I, I just love it. Yes. <laughs> What's your favorite TV show? Okay, I have been loving a show called 911. Um, it's on Hulu and it's the best show. It's basically like Grey's Anatomy, but like way better in my opinion. It might sound like boring, but I'm not kidding. If you watch it, it will be your new favorite show if you like those type of shows and you're allowed to watch those type of shows. That one's really, really good and I'm obsessed with it. All right, so now um, the biggest question that has been asked so, so much over the past couple weeks is what the heck happened to your neck? Basically, um, what happened to my neck is we got into a really scary rollover car accident and we were taking in ambulances and we got to the hospital um, and they checked my head and my neck from the car accident but they actually found out something that wasn't even caused by the car accident but that was pre-existing before so you guys might not know this I went on a service mission um, for my church and I had to come home early I was planning to go on a mission for 18 months and um, I only got to serve for six months because um, of health reasons. So what happened on my mission is my neck and my head, there was pain in my neck and it started giving me really bad headaches and I was just trying to like get through it and work through them. I started throwing up a lot and I didn't know why this was going on, why this was even happening to me. I went to um, a doctor on my mission and he just thought it was just maybe stress and so he sent me to a chiropractor who worked on my neck and my back and he was just saying there was like big knots in my back and he was like turning my head I've never heard my neck crack so many times in my life it was really crazy it was kind of uh, scary I don't know it was just weird that my head could turn a certain way and not snap my neck like it was just super weird I didn't like the chiropractor a lot but that's what the doctor advised me to do so I was doing it um, but the throwing up got worse and worse and I could just tell that it wasn't stress um, and so what they did is they took me and I got an ultrasound on my gallbladder and it looked fine and nobody knew what was going on. And so basically, um, the leader of my mission, he had to send me home because um, of the condition I was in and what was happening. It was just better for my health and for me. Um, and so sadly, I had to leave my mission early and I wasn't able to serve the 18 months. Teach my soul to sing your song Even when my eyes can't see When I can't seem to carry on I know your hand is guiding me I know your hand is guiding me I may walk But you were all I'll ever need Gave you life to take my fall So in the storm I will have peace So come the storm I'll still believe I'm so very glad that I got to serve for six months um, And so I came home and I was like, hey, I have got to figure out what's going on with me. It just kept happening. My neck and my head weren't really hurting as bad, but I was just throwing up a lot. 
Um, and so, basically, um, they still couldn't figure out what was going on with me when I got home. And I was just like, okay, hey, well, I'm never gonna get an answer. I'm just gonna be like this forever. Like, I don't really know. Maybe it's gonna go away. I don't know what was really happening. I thought maybe I was just sensitive to certain food groups or I just, I didn't know. I had no idea why this was happening and I didn't know if it was because of stress because I didn't feel stressed, but maybe I was stressing and I didn't know why I was feeling stressed. Makes sense? I don't know. I was just super confused and just really down. I felt pretty just a little depressed because um, it's kind of hard to first of all come home early from a mission and second of all not know why I had to come home and why this was a part of Heavenly Father's plan um, but little did I know um, how big of a miracle it was and how um, I really was following God's plan um, the perfect way that he needed me to. I'd been home for a little bit less than six months and we got into this car accident um, a rollover car accident on the freeway. Our car flipped and it was really scary, um, but it was a miracle that we were able to get into that car accident because I felt perfectly fine after the car accident and I was just worried about um, my siblings who were in this accident with me. And again, you can go watch our Enough Nelson's video to find out what happened with everyone. Um, but for me personally, I felt fine and I thought I was fine, but the doctor for some reason um, insisted that me, out of everyone, um, should get a CAT scan. And I was just like, I don't need a CAT scan, I'm perfectly fine. Like My siblings were the ones who were hurt from the car accident and I felt like they had way more serious um, problems with them. Um, but. Little did I know uh, what was happening to me. So I finally just said, okay, you can do the CAT scan. They just wanted to see if my head was okay from the car accident. Um, and so it was just like a just in case thing. Nobody else got it in my family except for one person who was really, really hurt and you could see it. So again, I was confused why I had to get it when I felt like I was the most um, perfectly fine person in the whole accident. Um, but the doctor just said we should just do it in case. So I just said, fine, let's just get it over with. Man, was it a really, really good thing that I got that CAT scan. So what I found out was the doctors um, had found a growth um, in my neck, in my spine. I believe it was through the four and five part of my spine. I don't know exactly what that means and they could see that this growth was not good um and so they told me that a little bit after um when i was just walking around thinking i was fine and that they were stupid for making me get that um i just heard from the doctors that they didn't know if it was a cyst or basically cancer i was just like taken back i was like what just happened. I went in for an MRI. I had my first surgery because they could not figure out what this growth was and they were really scared that it was cancerous and could spread throughout my whole body and so um, I was just really scared and I just tried to just not think about it because I just couldn't believe that they had found this. And so I went in for a open biopsy. If you don't know what that is, um, it's just basically where the doctor, he opened up my neck and he took little bits and pieces of this growth that was in my neck and um, then they had to test it and figure out what it was because they'd never seen something like this before is what they would say. They actually sent um, parts of the growth in me, weird, I know. They sent it to Harvard because no doctor had ever seen it before. They didn't know what it was. They couldn't figure it out. So they had to send it to a more advanced school, which was Harvard. And once the results were sent back, they found out that I had a tumor in the back of my neck. Um, it wasn't cancerous, thank goodness, but um, it was a really aggressive tumor. So it was basically like cancer, but it couldn't spread to other parts of my body. It was just aggressively growing in one part and it was eating away my spine, um, which is not good because that means that I wouldn't have my spine to hold up my head. So my head would basically drop. And so I had to schedule a 
really big surgery um, to get this entire growth out. And so the surgery was supposed to be about four hours long and it happened to be um, a little bit longer than seven hours to get this tumor um, out of my neck. So the tumor had eaten away my spine and so they needed to replace it. And so what they had to do is they had to use one of these. It's called a titanium plate and they had to screw this in my neck with six screws to replace my vertebrae. To do this, they had to go through the front of my neck, then they had to turn me over and cut through the back of my neck and then drill out the bone that the tumor had replaced as well as any other tissue that it had eroded. Because even if they left smaller than a microscopic piece of the tumor still in, then it could grow back again. And so I still don't know um, if they were able to get it all because they just recently had the surgery a couple weeks ago. So here's the gist of it. Um, it's a huge blessing that I came home from my mission. Because if I didn't come home from my mission, I wouldn't have gotten into that car accident. Um, and if I didn't get into that car accident, I wouldn't have found this growth. Basically, if I didn't get into the rollover car accident with my family, I would have never found the growth, like I said. And by the time I did find it later on in life, when it actually started hurting and affecting me, it probably would have ate most of my spine. And there's a really good chance that I would be in a wheelchair or I would have pressed against my spinal cord, which there's just so many things that could have happened if I didn't find that out. And so what a miracle it is um, that I was able to find this. Like, it, it just blows my mind thinking about it. And I just feel so overwhelmed with gratitude um, for my Heavenly Father or for God and that this was His plan for me. It's been just such a testimony builder to me that um, God has a plan for each one of us. And um, we might not understand why we have to go through hard things or confusing things, but um, we just don't see the big picture, and He does. And so I'm just really grateful for Heavenly Father and His plan and that I was able to find this and be able to now recover um, from this surgery. And obviously there was a lot of risks that could have happened in the surgery, but they didn't. And I'm good and I'm healthy now. And the only bad thing about this whole thing, which is completely worth it, is I have to wear this ugly neck brace for about three months, which is totally fine with me. Like I said, I'm just super overwhelmed with gratitude that um, it all worked out the way that it did. And yeah, that's just the miracle story um, with my whole neck situation. I'm super grateful. I just want to say a big thank you to all of you guys. You have been super awesome. I've gotten so many sweet um, direct messages and comments and you guys are just are amazing. Thank you guys for all of the love and support um, with my surgeries and even when you guys didn't really know what was going on, you guys were just awesome. I'm just really glad that I finally was able to share this story with you guys and let you know that miracles happen every day and God is real and He loves me and He loves you. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, thank you guys for all the support again here on YouTube. And if you finally want to see my boyfriend and how hot he is when he gets home, make sure you subscribe down below. Oh, cringe. Okay. <laughs> Why am I like this sometimes? I don't know. Also, again, if you want to go check out the car accident video, um, we just posted that today on Not Enough Nelsons. Go check that out and you can find out what happened um, to the rest of my family who was in the accident. Okay. Love you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.